Hello there everybody, Dave McCauley here and welcome back to more of Let's Play Point of View for the PC. Again, let's check out the encounters from the last chapter. Jane is first. It felt really strange being in front of the camera again. I thought it would scare me. And it did. At first. But then that old feeling came back, that rush, and I got really turned on. Sometimes I miss that life, but I'll never go back to it. I just can't. Yeah, so there it is. I'm kind of correct about her, uh, her past life. Her being a model and probably something happening with her um, photographer. All right, so we got Frank. I don't know if being a musician is the best thing in life or the worst thing. Well, it's both, I guess. You know, kind of like a drug you gotta have. You're playing a gig, like tonight. You know, that's about as high as I'd ever want to get. But this, this, you know, like getting there. Yeah, you know, I live in a pretty cool place, but it's not mine. I'm just staying there until the guy that actually owns it moves in. Most of the time, I just, I work, well, stupid jobs to support myself, support my habit. But it's all worth it. I mean, tonight. Tonight was just so good. Hmm. <laughs> Insert music here. So that's not his place. He's just waiting for the uh, the real person to move in. Wow. Okay. So that's why it's so bare bones right now. Carol, your time is up. Here we go. This is too weird. Did you know that Jane's place is right across the street from Frank's apartment? When we were in bed together, I looked out the window, and there he was. He was watching TV in the same chair that we had sex in the other night. Can you imagine if he'd seen me? Hey, Frankie. It's me, Carol, having sex in the window again. Only for tonight I'm on the other side of the street. In more ways than one. <laughs> so, I wasn't able to tell who it was that Jane was having sex with. Or who was in the bed with Jane. But it turned out to be Carol! Carol! Damn! Damn, Jane, what... Okay, this is a little weird now. My opinion is slowly changing. That's a little crazy. And Frank, just a little bit of advice. You never fuck crazy. You never fuck crazy or else bad things happen to you. So with that said, let's move on to chapter four. Here we go. Oh, this time it's not out the window. Oh, just more. Whoa. Oh, God. That apple. That apple's like, please, please, just eat me. Kill me. Stop licking me. Oh, nice. Nice, Jane. That, not, not a nice photo. That last one. Wow. I really know what you say about these. Oh, now she's superimposed herself. Wow. You are simply all credible. Kiss by my imaginary friend. With Mark Wahlberg. Ah, <laughs> oh, these pen pal things. 
Oh, wait, she's acting we Okay, she's taking... Okay, now I get it. She's taking the cuts from Mary and this imaginary... Th well, not imaginary, this pen pal. And she's... Yeah, she's cutting him all out, which is equally as weird. Does she never have friends over? I mean, does Mary never come over to her place just to hang out? And if she does, I guess she doesn't go into her non-doored bedroom. I didn't see a door there. And if I did, if there was, I, I missed it. Jesus. You are... You, 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 uh, remix. Wicka, wicka, wow! Oh, she was late for the paper today. Unless he just got there early and GTFO'd. Oh man. Oh, what'd you find? Oh, binary in the background. One oh one 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 oh oh. Binary right behind her. It says, "I like to be creepy." Okay, so it's not. No, it's not really what it says. Oh, see? No. No. Is she taking over for Mary? Without Mary's consent? Oh, no. This is bad. Is this what we were seeing in the trailer? Oh, no. She looks like Mila Jolovich, actually, a little bit. Oh, where am I going? Oh, okay, I'll just cross the street here, I guess. Oh, son of a... Oh, God. Nope, not going in there. Fuck it. Oh, I guess I'm coming in here. Well, hey, what's up? I'm surprised she has that kind of clock. Wow. Okay. Got a pocket watch. That's interesting. Hi, I'm Red Foreman. I've been on such shows as That 70s Show and Robocop. No. Very beautiful. Just a look-alike. I mean, I had a fantasy, but you go way beyond that. I'm P. Stands for Peter. What's M for? Michelle. Monica. Marilyn. Menstruation, which I'm constantly on. Well, Fuck you. I sincerely hope not. I think you're here to meet someone, and I think that someone is me. I don't know what you're talking about. He, I don't believe you. He's got that priest look to him, you know what I mean? Like, it looks like but a priest. Like <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I've a long time for this. I don't want to lose you now. Uh-oh. not who you think I am. Oh, Who flashbacks. Flashbacks. Damn. Messing Jane up, son. Messing Jane up. Oh, what? Okay, I guess. Yeah, why would she leave that there? I know your name, you lying bitch. I mean, ugh, God, I'm drinking foam. Ugh, that's terrible. Oh, bubble bath! Doesn't taste that great. Oh, here comes Mary. Oh, love of my life! Oh, God. I'm Bono's wife. Or, you know, one of the members of the Beatles. The female member. Which never happened. But I am her. Oh, Steve Jobs. Very angry Steve Jobs with hair. Okay, she's, so she's putting up... Oh, okay, so now, yeah. That's a portrait of the real person. And she knows it. Yeah! yeah. I'm creepy. No, not good. You want me to take off your shirt, too? No. 
Oh, oh, goddamn. No answer. Uh oh. That's not good. Silk! Yes, silk! Depression! Same outfit I was wearing before my nun outfit. The same one I wear every day when I'm checking the mailbox scene. It's not like we shot this all in one day or anything like that. My stopwatch! Oh Christ, he's here. Boy, am I glad to see you. <laughs> oh, you hippie. Oh God. Are you okay? What? What is this? He, so. He's asking that now? You mm. see different motion in her? I was thinking. Well, wondering, actually. Oh God, your brain works. I think you want to date. Nothing serious. Just a cup of coffee. Would that be possible? At a hipster bar? It's possible. Which is called tonight? a copy shop? I'm kidding. Oh. Because uh, tonight is great for me. See, I got a second job, and I work every night of the week, except tonight. Well... You're busy. I don't have to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick you up at 8. Where do you live? Oh, I'm busy at 8. I'd rather meet you. Sure. Fine with me. Where? Um. Do you know the nimble hippo? Oh. I don't think so. The nimble uh, hippo. That casual place. Yes, I love it. I think I know where it is. Great. Right. I'll just meet you there. Eight? Eight. Uh, okay. Actually. 1320. PM. I'll see you there. Alright, I would have sex with someone only if I were married to them. Nope. Uh, the affair were extremely discreet. Nope. I believe they were good. Nope. I care about them very deeply. They were a good friend. I care about them very deeply, but that doesn't necessarily mean... Um... I mean, they're... <sighs> yeah, let, let's go. Yes. Barnes is genuinely concerned, genuinely concerned about Jane. A dirty old man, a psychopath. Um, uh, he kind of sounds like a dirty old man right now. I mean, he's not genuinely concerned about Jane. He's kind of concerned with Mary at this point and not in the ways that he should be. He's kind of like, oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah that way so people who live in cities are more likely to indulge in deviant behavior that's not true no going on a blind date is a bad idea false false in most cases the media likes to point out all the bad cases that happen but obviously, when good things happen, they're, they it wouldn't be full of, All right, well, Jane had a great blind date tonight with Peter, and uh, it went swimmingly. Just to let you know, this is KPIT reporting in the morning. Yeah, so, now, Jane went to Al Alibi Cafe, Alibi, yeah, Alibi Cafe, because she is curious, nosy, lonely, concerned for her friend, some who lives vicariously through others, a voyeur. I mean, the last two make the most the most sense. I, 
I don't I don't think it was because she was concerned. I think it was because she she lives like she wanted to live vicariously through somebody. Yeah. P's behavior was understandable, inappropriate, boorish. Inappropriate. He shouldn't have grabbed her like that. Jane should have not, should not have gone to the cafe. True. Very true. It is the woman, women, who really control the dating situation. No, it's, it's a back and forth. It's a back and forth between, uh, you know, it's chemistry, baby. Yeah. Who is manipulating the dating situation here, Frank or Jane? Manipulating? I didn't know there was a dating situ- Oh, okay, so... Jane. She... Right now, he's kind of the guy that... He's playing the part of, Well, I, I, I guess I'll just do- I'll do anything for you! So, um, are you free? I mean, like, yeah, I guess, I guess so, I guess, sure, here, um, I'm free tonight, but, like, I- uh, uh, He seems very spastic, which is really, uh, a little weird. I mean, he may be nervous, but he doesn't seem nervous with every other girl, so he may be playing a part. Hmm. But manipulating the dating situation? It's Jane. Yeah. Beautiful women can have ev any beautiful women can have any man they want. False. Very false. Because beautiful women a, a beautiful woman isn't the Um, how do I put this? Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, right? So, saying beautiful women isn't, like, a beautiful woman to one person isn't beautiful to another. Because not everybody looks for the same thing in somebody else, you know what I mean? Jane is a cleaning lady because she is in hiding, she is obsessive-compulsive about cleanliness, she, she is trying to wash out her past, Maybe, I, she, I mean, she might be in hiding. She might be cl trying to wash out her past. Um, that would be a good metaphor, I guess. Is it a metaphor? Metaphor, um, maybe, I don't know. None of the above? Oh, shat. I mean, trying to wash out her past. That, that's a pretty good one. I like that. It, that would also make sense for just like making a new life for herself and starting out so I'm gonna go with that people in the city are more lonely and alienated than non-city people false we're human beings all right guys that's gonna be it for this episode of let's play point of view for the pc depending on how you felt about this episode like or dislike if you felt it was one of your favorite episodes hit that favorite button and if you haven't already done so and you like what i do please subscribe also check out the description down below for all my social media links most importantly my twitter be sure to follow me on there and facebook be sure to like the page with that said guys i'm dave mccauley and i'll see you guys next time for more let's play point of view for the pc see you guys next time